In honour of my great mate Brad Blanks, we're going to do ourselves a beer review. Uh, here we are in Tavistock, Devon, England, United Kingdom. We've got ourselves a Guinness, funnily enough, from Ireland. Uh, but this one is a cold brew coffee beer. I've never seen it before. I saw it on the shelf. I said I've got to have one of these. My mate Brad, he'd love this. So here we go. Uh, it's nicely chilled. Uh, and... Oh... A little bit of an explosion at the top there. You can all, almost see the uh, coffee aromas exploding out the top. Uh, but opening a can of a Guinness is uh, only part the part puzzle. Insert pint glass. Can you see if we can get this uh, done right? Oh, hang on. I think I was supposed to bend that uh, top back and forth a couple of times, but. Camera man, does it look all right? Here we go. A bit more, bit more flow now. Pouring, 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 just for vocals. All right, so we're fast, fastening that up. That's a canning, uh, Kyle Brew Guinness. You can hear the uh, nozzle inside. You can see, like any good Guinness, it. Uh, Filtrates itself, probably not the right word again, from bottom to top. Now, uh, to, I've got to give the uh, taste test review, even though I should be letting this sit for a bit. But uh, in in uh, yeah, getting this video done quickly, and I'm starting to slow up because I've had a couple. Uh, we're just going to have a go now. So from first taste, you can tell it's obviously a Guinness. Um, the coffee aromas get you as your nose hits the uh, top of the glass. Um, it's a it's a pretty good concoction. If if you're a Guinness drinker, you'd be drinking this at the end of the night. Even though the coffee is going to keep you awake at night, you should be drinking it at the start of the day. Uh, but from a novelty Guinness perspective, it's actually really good. So in saying that, I'm going to give this a eight. Point seven out of ten. That's a wrap.